it's your model franchise franchisable so you are here you are looking at scaling and expanding and you are wondering remember we're dealing with model because there's another slide that is a little bit similar to this so that we are, you know we don't mix them up is your model your type of business can it be franchised you know now um you look at the can, can it be duplicated can it be replicated any business model where you cannot create a system document things you know in a way that another person who is in quote a total novice to run in that very business can leverage it and replicate the same success the same impact the same example the same taste and feel the same experience for the customers as you have always done it that business probably should not consider franchising it is it teachable can you teach people how to run that business is it location specific there are some kind of businesses that you, you cannot succeed at other locations it is offensive to other cultures it's offensive to some other religion um it is you know stuff like that okay so is it you if you're a motivational speaker is you if you are a kind of person that you have a kind of unique knowledge you know talent or gift and then uh, you are successful at what you are doing you know largely some of those businesses can be replicated consulting hub franchising there are all manner of consulting accounting franchises all over all over the world but again if it is only you that can do that and it has to do with you you as a person as a brand it might not be franchisable okay so there is a special talent uh hungry if your business requires requires skill sets that are very rare and specific you know franchising probably might not be for such a business is it affordable any person investing in a franchise remember remember if People are going, if people want to franchise with you, there are some other things that the money they want to invest as a capital in that franchise is competing uh, with, right? What do I mean? If your franchise is going to what 50 million naira, I think there are some places in this country where somebody could build, develop some property with 50 million naira and rent it out. Somebody can buy land and decide to allow it to appreciate. The person can invest in anything else. The person can start up his own business. There are 1,001 things people want to do. So it has to show them, they have to be able to compare, right? What is the margin of the profit? You know, um, what is the, what are the returns? How much is the capital? Do I put in 200 million naira and I'm waiting for 10 years to get this money back where, when I could have put that? So that is the essence of affordability and other things around that. Is it well-managed? Is it easy to manage? You know, there are there are businesses that so when we are helping brands to develop their franchise, I know we usually don't have a lot of value for services in Nigeria, but gradually people are beginning to appreciate the kind of thing that we are doing. You know, um, we meet businesses that the way they are running today, they can't scale. We begin to help them to streamline their processes. Remember. You want you don't want to micromanage people. You don't want to hire employees or hire a manager or people are going to run that business. For them to get the process done, they have to memorize a lot, study a lot. It's too tedious. It's too long. You know, simplify it, make it scalable, bring in technology, automate it, so that the ease of running and managing that very business makes it you know easy for people to get a hang of it who are going to be your stakeholders or your team or employees to get a hang of it and be able to commit to the standards that are required 